and food basket of the world and yet is one of the most impoverished continents you can ever come across. It's a tough one because it knows how tricky this uh, UPDF side can be. And we are underway. UPDF Football Club in the camouflage there, the green camouflage as they take on KCC Football Club in the blue and yellow right here at the Bombo Military Playgrounds. But, uh, he's uh, being underutilized. Well, a chance here to break into the box area and a good save coming in from the skipper. Benjamin Ochan called into action here as there was a relentless run coming in from Ivan Ahimbisi where the top scorer of this team against Busoga United he picked up a hat-trick and became the first player to have a hat Barracks Stadium as they try to get the ball on Kankonde sets the ball up onto the wing there could be a chance here plenty of bodies available to target from and a rasping shot Proving effective here as Kagawa Senoga opens up his account for KCC Football Club. First shot looked a little foolhardy that he chose to go about it himself, but he was not to be denied. He had the and opening up the space on the far side that allowed Kagawa to move in. And what did he do once he got to that position and Kankonde could hold up play and then he passes it there, down there to find Senoga who had one opportunity, first took it and it was blocked and then the second bite to the cherry wasn't closed down by this UPDF defence and uh, that was uh, an easy one for him at the end of the day but good play coming in from KCC and uh, well deserved considering how they built it up. There might be questions here on the former Nyami Tiobora man about that quickly every time they have possession. Yeah, exactly, and that's something that uh, will give um, KCC a lot of encouragement once they realize the Kasasiro boys. With a long ball to the goalkeeper, and this time Simon Mabuya. And he'll definitely deliver as now Rogers Mato Kasim rugs himself onto the game. And the referee takes one look at it. I don't think so. I, I think I don't might <laughs> agree with uh, <laughs> I the just wrong there. And I don't see anything wrong with what he did. No, a trickle just think, fell. I think, I don't know. But a trickle just dived in. He, 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 he had the first long ball forward, giving him a chance here to settle onto that ball. Could be dangerous. And a shot here, rasping. Just not on target. Brilliant combination here with Benjamin Ochan for the moment. He you feel that, that that was good technique coming in from Jibril and Simbe, controlling the ball and then setting it up nicely uh, for Ivan Aimbisio, who did not let that ball drop, just took it faster because if he had let it drop, then it will really give you a proper hiding. It's a long ball. He's streaking out to the wing here now, a chance to bulldoze his way through. Rogers Mato, the dark horse, is unchained. Reined in every time he comes forward. It's explosive. It's impending doom. There's a real threat about him. Yeah, his runs off the ball are, are superb, I'll tell you, because he knows how to read um, any opportunity for a counter-attack. And once KCC stole that possession... Again, at the door of KCC Football Club. Long ball in, streaking in! And that could have caused problems here. Momentary confusion. Ooh la la. By the goalkeeper, Simon Mabuya. Just in that instance, another look at that replay. Good touch coming in from Ivan. And, uh, just imagine if Ivan uh, Ahimbisiwe had just connected with have taken his chances and tried to go the first time short. Benjamin Ochan, of course, narrowing down the angle. But you have to credit the resilience in that defense. But headed wide, another near chance. And now there's a player on the ground. It looks like Iguma might be involved in a little mischief here and ganging up around the referee. Player okay. Ibrahim Bagandas is on the ground uh, even after the ball. Had land. Let's get another look at this one. Ball comes in. Yeah, it was a tussle in there. And then he turns. Oh, no. Uh, no. Just cutting that one a little short. Probably a few seconds later, we would have seen what happened. So they get into a bit of a scuffle. It's a red card. Well, yeah. No, well, yeah. Well, Dennis Iguma can only well, blame himself. Well, yeah. Well. Yeah. He, he, he has to walk, clearly. And the assistant and here, referee says. Now it. we probably get to see what exactly happened there. Iguma headbutt. Oh, Ooh. Oh, now that should be a red Iguma. card. Straight red to Dennis Iguma. And this is into submission. Ball played through. And now Senoga tries to clear. And a chance for him. Misibwe gets another chance here. Palmed out by the goalkeeper. And already margin of error there. Very, very slim. It could have quite easily been an equalizer. Yeah, but good goalkeeping in, coming in now from particularly Donato Kelo shot eight. I think he's really looked good. A chance here, but uh, unable to take that shot in the in Coming in now from Moses Wesley. Trying to fashion a chance of their own, and that's an elbow from Magandazi. 
That's an elbow from Maganda as the referee will have no option but to reach into his pocket and a yellow card. That's that he had lost the ball. Oh, yes, look what, had totally oh okay. It was not really an elbow. I think it just arm. yeah, just an arm. Yeah, I don't think it was uh, an elbow as we had. Referee says he will walk the plank off to the dressing rooms. Second yellow card. And it ends in infamy. Their level uh, in terms of uh, number of players that are on the field. You still feel that um, if, uh, there's still uh, room for some drama to unfold. Launching a long ball up front here looking for Ivan Ahimbi Siwe. Ahimbi Siwe in possession. Can he fashion a proper chance here? Whips it across! Header! Straight to the goalkeeper. Benjamin Ochan. The direction. He didn't need to rush into a header. Should have just controlled because he was clearly loosely marked. Just bring the ball down onto your chest and then bang it into the into the, the corner of that goal because that was... Um, His way forward. As a long ball is launched in and this time the flag stays down and the ball is chipped but just goes away. Another opportunity, another squander. It's this KCC defence but that was a very good opening. You feel that the KCC defence is sleeping on the job but for Faridi, he's going to rule this because this was a very good chance. In a game that's turning out to be a real firecracker for the neutrals as the goalkeeper is low from distance. Ooh la la. Denied what would have been. From, uh, Usama Arafat and Donato.